concept of test, fix, test. When the DOD or one of these other agencies are testing something, uh, you're trying to get a prototype into the pipeline as far as going in to uh, get it onto a, a, a proving ground. And once it, it gets there in the proving grounds, it's going through its testing routine, let's say uh, you have a maintenance problem, or you determine, hey, there's something we want to fabricate uh, on, this piece, uh, on this piece of equipment. And then you have to take it offline, go back to your home station, do the repairs that are needed, then get back in the queue to go back there. You lose a whole lot of time. Uh, the concept here is we've got a shop, we've got this bay back over here, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But if say we need to fix something, we can we can fix it. We can do the, we can fabricate the part if if, uh, if if needed. But it's to keep accelerating the time so that somebody's here. They don't have to go back to their home station. They can stay here and we can fix it, and then we can get it back out uh, into the testing uh, onto the testing. So, range. so at uh, Relis, you've created a center where. Uh, innovators can come with an idea, actually manufacture that idea, and bring it to a, a test bed with uh, AT&T's 5G capabilities to uh, allow everyone to see in very realistic uh, conditions how that uh, piece of equipment or that new innovation would work. So, yes, that uh, so with the sensors that are uh, say that we have out, and when we get to the fusion room, we'll talk a little more about that. But let's say if, if something is identified. Uh, out there while it's being tested within that 5G uh, network and that's being transmitted back up here to the fusion room they identify what it may be. Uh, hopefully they can fix it remotely uh, there through that network or they can bring it back in here and they can do the physical adjustments that need to 